Hey, it's TimeScark11 with more of my LEGO Pokemon collection. Here's the Toxpex, Mudsdale, and Araquanid lines. First off, Marini. Marini is just a one-by-one -one brick with the thing that goes over minifigure necks. I forget what it's called. So a very simple build for it, but making small faces like that is really difficult. At least it doesn't have too detailed of a face, so this one wasn't too bad when I made it. Toxpex. I love using these octagonal pieces. Pretty much everything using it always comes out really interesting. I especially love Toxpex's design for this. It's got a really good design as a Pokemon anyway. Lola had a big issue with a bunch of really good designed Pokemon that are just really terrible and not worth using for anything. Toxpex is one of the exceptions. Good design and it actually works. You can kind of see the face below it there. It's got a really tiny face. Never used a Toxpex myself because I'm not too into stall. Mudbray. Mudbray is not one of those Alola Pokemon with good design. This thing looks so bad. Honestly, it's just the eyes. The eyes are the biggest thing that ruins it. If they had just given it cuter looking eyes and matched Mudbray, I mean Mudsdale better then it probably would have been a pretty good looking Pokemon. And as always, if you want to see how to build these, they've gotten tutorials already, so you can search how to make Lego Pokemon, name of the Pokemon, and find the tutorial I did on it once. I didn't do a tutorial on Mudsdale since this is just a horse piece with tape for the details and then a brick and plate here to fill in the saddle area of the horse piece. So also tape on the tail to make it thicker looking compared to what the default horse piece tail looks like. Kind of like the Lego Mudsdale better looking than the actual Mudsdale design. Mainly these parts. I like the way they look on the Lego figure better than the way the actual Pokemon looks with these things hanging down. Dupiter. This one's pretty simple. But I did need to use a clear piece for this. Most of the time the color of the pieces that I use doesn't matter too much since I'm putting a coat of paint and then drawing over it anyway. But for this one I need to make sure I made sure 
I used a specific piece for this so that it actually looked right since I needed something transparent. Same for Dupiter and for Araquanid. I really like Dupiter's design. Even though I hate spiders, I love Jupiter and Araquanid. They're among my favorite Alolo Pokemon. I should really do a top 10 favorite Pokemon of each region series at one point. And Araquanid. I absolutely love Araquanid's design and really love the way that this was built. This is among my favorite LEGO Pokemon that I've ever made. Again, even though I hate spiders, I just love Araquanid's design. It's so cool looking. Also really fun to use. I used one in draft at some point. I'm pretty sure I did in one season. It's a really fun Pokemon to use. And I love the bubble head around it. The bubble around its head. The legs are a bit uncooperative sometimes. They prefer to bend inwards where they're supposed to be. It's the way the pieces like to go together since they are bent at an angle and it's a bit unnatural so they try to go inwards a bit on their own sometimes. But yeah, I really like this one. This is definitely one of my favorites. Anyway, if there's any specific LEGO Pokemon you want to see me make, then see commission info linked in the description below. It's the pinned tweet on my Twitter profile. So, see you next time!